Hello, I'm Dave from Dino PC, and today we're learning about deep learning. Schooled. All of the opinions on this video are my own and may not necessarily reflect those at Dino PC, so please take everything I say with a pinch of salt. So about a month ago, Nvidia launched the brand new GTX Titan X, a incredible graphics card with some incredible power. So incredible that we don't even have our hands on it yet. But there's something that they added in, an addition, uh, that was has never been in any of the main range of gaming graphics cards before, and that's to do with deep learning. And that got me thinking, what do we know about deep learning? How does it benefit us in our everyday lives? And why is Nvidia suddenly adding things like deep learning to their GPUs? Well, I went on an extraordinary journey of nothing but research for days to find out. Well, we shall start with the obvious, shall we? What is deep learning? Deep learning is essentially a set of machines using different algorithms to work out a specific problem. Using a set of algorithms to model high-level abstractions and data using a deep graph with multiple processing layers combined of multiple linear and non-linear transformations. Uh, I know that seems confusing, but I'm going to try and break down everything for you and make things very understandable. So here goes. Essentially, deep learning has very strong links to artificial neural networks, or ANNs. This is essentially the same as biological neural networking, or pretty much exactly what we think, how, what we feel, uh, ex the thought processes that go on in the brain of all animals. And artificial neural networking is basically a computerized way of how our brain thinks, feels, and acts. To understand deep learning a little better, we need to understand machine learning first. I'm going to use examples from Nikhil Budma. Sorry if I completely destroyed your name there, sir. I apologize. I'm not particularly good at the pronunciations. He is from MIT, and he gives a great example in a blog post on KD Nuggets. There's a link in the description of the video if you want to read about it. It's fascinating stuff. It's one of the only articles you can find that explains deep learning, machine learning, and neural networking in a very simple way. Occasionally, it is very difficult for programs to solve certain puzzles. Our MIT deep learning expert that I've been reading on has given this particular example. If you look at this photo here, you can see it is a zero, or maybe a six. Unfortunately, a computer algorithm will see this exactly the same way. A zero that's difficult to distinguish from a six, algorithmically. Mr. Boudma states, and I quote, in this case, we have difficulty differentiating zeros from sixes. We could establish some sort of cutoff, but how would you decide what the cutoff is in the first place? As you can see, it quickly becomes very complicated to compile a list of rules and guesses that accurately classifies handwritten digits. So instead of trying to write a program, we try to develop an algorithm that the computer can use to look at hundreds of thousands of examples and the correct answer. And then the computer uses that experience to solve the problem in new situations. Essentially, the goal is to teach the computer to solve by example. Very similar to how we might teach a child to distinguish a cat from a dog. A brilliant example here, and hopefully my animations on screen have made it a little bit clearer for you. This is machine learning. People programming computers to recognize certain things in certain ways. This brings us on to the magnificent world of feature extraction. Feature extraction, put very simply, is confusion in computers. Most of the time, a program will have to have a programmer's input directly into it to understand different anomalies and traits, to be able to separate all of the different bits of code. For example, in the uh, example that I gave earlier, whether that six is a zero or the zero is a six, for example. Deep learning is one way that mechanical and software engineers and programming engineers can get around this problem of feature extraction because deep learning doesn't require almost any input from the programmer whatsoever. So you now have the general idea of how machine learning and deep learning works. Essentially, deep learning is deep machine learning. It's the idea that a machine can almost think for itself and differentiate and add in its traits into its algorithms to determine 
exactly what feature extraction needs to go into it. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing for you guys to understand. As I said, there is a link in the video description for you guys to go and read. It's quite a heavy read, but it's a lot easier than some of the other stuff I've been reading up. And it's very interesting. So, now that you have a general idea of what deep learning is, how is it benefiting us? When am I going to see deep learning in my home? Well, the answer is, is you definitely already seen it today. And I know this because you are watching a YouTube video. If it wasn't for deep learning and neural networking, we wouldn't have Google's self-driving cars or any self-driving cars for that matter. In fact, you wouldn't even be able to search effectively on Google almost anything because that uses machine learning to be able to find exactly what you're looking for. As well as that, those annoying ads that are gonna pop up here or here or on the screen, that has been set to you specifically because of deep learning. Pattern and image recognition, speech recognition, email spam filters, prediction of equipment failures, almost everything to do with modern jet setting, and of course, a personal favorite thing of mine, coding and animation. All of these things have integral parts in machine learning and deep learning as well. But the question that we posed at the beginning of the video is, why is NVIDIA adding deep learning traits to the Titan X in their Pascal lineup? And the answer after searching hours and hours of Wikipedia and the back end of Google is, we don't know. Joking aside though, seriously, we just don't know. In my personal opinion, it's to bring deep learning to the main consumer market. Deep learning is something that is more often than not integrated with their Tesla cards, the cheapest of which you can find for a mere £4,600. But at £1,000 or $1,200, the Titan X seems almost a bargain for that. This means that enthusiasts and us common people are going to be able to play around with deep learning if we so wished, maybe create our own programs, fuel the next generation of geniuses. It could just simply be a marketing exercise, although I doubt it. Deep learning is something that is going to be affecting our lives every single day and Nvidia is pushing it at us even more, which I think is actually a good thing. Guys, even though this was a very short video, this took me a very long time to make. I mean, a day and a half of researching and writing to be able to try and condense all of the information down into ways that you can understand. I may have even made a few mistakes because let's face it, we're all human and nobody at Dino PC knows too much about deep learning but maybe now they will do. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot in my race to beat Silas and his like to dislike ratio. If you didn't enjoy the video, then leave a dislike, but let us know why in the comment section below. And guys, we will see you soon. Bye-bye. So this thing, this is pretty cool. This is our brand new, um, little gaming system that we've customized. We sent it off to get painted. It's got a thermal take case on it. We've got an Intel i5, a eight gigabytes of RAM and a 460 in here. It's a beautiful, beautiful little PC that you'll be able to see uh, events and stuff like that because we're gonna be taking it on the road. There are six of these and uh, six of the purple and white. So it's got like purple here and then white for the chassis color. It's awesome guys, seriously. You can't buy them yet. I don't know if there's some interest, maybe you can buy them, but um, they're completely unique because we sent them off to get powder coated, which is why they're orange and not black or white. So yeah, if you enjoyed the videos, guys, thank you very much for watching. This was a very difficult video for me to make and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.